The head of one of Hawaii's largest labor unions has been removed from the job, and the union has been taken over by an appointed administrator due to alleged misuse of funds. Gina Mangieri is always investigating. Gina? Well, Dayton Kanilua with United Public Workers, or UPW, was removed yesterday. He's just the latest leader of a large Hawaii union to be ousted over spending irregularities. A letter sent to members from the president of the national union that oversees UPW Local 646 says both Nakane Lua and administrator of fiscal and membership services, Gene Endo, have been removed from their positions. The decision came down yesterday after an audit found abuse and misuse of union funds by Nakane Lua and others. The parent union says from 2017, Nakane Lua and others made $21,840 in charges on UPW credit cards that lacked proper documentation. They say Endo got reimbursement for thousands spent on gift cards, a computer, per diem spending, and an annual car allowance. The letter goes on to say Nakane Lua acknowledged and agreed to remedy many of these findings, but he still has not taken appropriate action. UPW represents more than 12,000 government blue-collar workers across the state. The letter from Lee Saunders says UPW has suffered from deficient financial management, including the opportunity for serious abuse and misuse of member dues money. As a member of UPW, you have a right to transparency, and you should have full faith that your dues money is being managed wisely. As president of AFSCME, I will not stand for anyone breaking this trust. This is just the latest financial scandal to hit local unions. Brian Ahakuelo, the former head of IBEW Local 1260, was federally indicted last year for conspiracy, vote rigging, and embezzlement, along with two relatives and four others charged with misdemeanor conspiracy. In 2002, former UPW boss Gary Rodriguez and his daughter were convicted for money laundering and other charges for bilking hundreds of thousands of dollars from the union. As for what happens at UPW now with Nakanilua out, a local administrator has been installed. That person is taking over day-to-day -day UPW affairs and will ensure continued representation of UPW members in the workplace. Now, we reached out to UPW for response and have not heard back. No criminal charges have yet been filed. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.